It's so funny how high they hold their heads. So like, yeah. I am the Ooh, all right guys, do we have a story for you? So this morning we got two geese. We were super excited about it. There's a male, there's a female. We named them Carlisle and Esme. And then this happened. So they're over here, Carlisle and Esme, just hanging out, just hanging out over there. And then look who decides to come over here. And I guess for whatever reason, <laughs> Hermione is scaring the crap look out of. At, look, look at them. They're like, they're like, and look what happens. And then look at look her. It. And then she chases them. And then he comes back. Carlisle comes back. But where's Esme? So at this point, we thought they just flew over the fence, and maybe they were over in the garden, or maybe they even got to the front yard. But they were nowhere to be found. So we came inside and we watched this happen. All right, so this is the front yard orchard here. All the little trees on the side of our house. Over the garden gate. And right when Hermione decides to, I don't know, chase the geese, this happens. And look guys. There she, she goes. She flies all the way over the other house on the other side of the street. So then the boys got on the golf cart and me and Lydia took the drone. And then we thought, so she's gotta be in our neighbor's backyard across the street. I hope she wasn't there, so we searched on the next street and the next street, and guys, at that point we thought she was gone. So for a whole day we just wondered like, where's Esme? We mourned her, <laughs> we mourned. Where's our goose? We contacted Animal Control and we posted in different Facebook groups and nothing until this evening. Somebody contacted us and said that they found a goose in their backyard and it's our goose. It's Esme. We have barely even met this goose. We don't even know it, but we're like, we're fully invested now. We're attached. We're attached to her. <laughs> so we need her back. So Kevin and Ethan just went to go get her and hopefully they can grab her before she flies away. And now we've learned that you always, always, always clip their wings before you let them out with a pig. <laughs> to be fair, I wanted to clip their wings, but Danelle said not to. <laughs> I know, I know. I, I thought that we they wouldn't fly away. We've had geese before. Yeah, who did uh, that? She was literally in the house across the street from the one that we checked. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow, She's Esme, fine. you went on an adventure. On I brought her a strawberry. Ooh, oh, <clears throat> it's a shame. Do you want this? <laughs> he does want Here, you do it. I don't want her to bite me. I know. He does want it. <laughs> okay, okay. I All think right. she's tired. Yeah. All right, let's go put her in there. Your friend is back! I'm back! Reunited once more. <laughs> Reunited. There we go. You can share that half of a strawberry. <laughs> Okay guys, I wanted to share with you the sponsor for this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online community with like thousands of classes. I tend to get a lot of questions about like how I started in gardening or how I started with goats and honestly, I just read and studied a ton online. And Skillshare is a place where you can go and get it all in one spot. There's tons of creative classes and really so much to explore. So the class I just finished taking is how to make perfect thin crust pizza by chef Nick Anderer. And I did not realize how much was involved in making authentic Italian pizza. And now I'm all inspired so I just got a pizza stone and <laughs> now I'm gonna make pizza. And I love how quickly I was able to get through the class. It only took me like 30 minutes. And now you guys, I'm a pro at making homemade pizza. They have a bunch of different class topics like illustration, graphic design, photography, gardening, and cooking, which are basically my two favorite things besides goats. When you join with a membership, you'll have access to thousands of videos with no ads and you can get through the classes fast. And it's less than $10 a month for an annual subscription. So if you're interested, the first thousand people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. So check it out, let me know what you think, 
and I will be making some very professional thin crust pizza very soon. Where are the scoopers? Every time we come out here in the morning, it's super quiet until we hear Hermione and Ron, or just Hermione. She hears us and she knows. Uh-oh, it's beginning. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry. They fight each other. Yep. Oh my gosh. Kevin, run! <laughs> Good morning! Good morning! Tilly always goes the wrong way. Be nice now. Those babies are being loud! Dying. No, oh, do no. not bring this back, Willow. Oh no. No. Willow. Babies do okay last night? Come on, let's go get you milked. Come on. You think Fern would do good if I didn't tie her up? <laughs> no. No. She's already <laughs> acting like this just with me cleaning her off. Well, don't fall off. She's the worst. So I've got her almost all the way milked out, but we're gonna save the last bit for the babies. Now one thing I've noticed with Fern is she hasn't been very good with feeding her babies in the morning. We'll let her back in and then she'll just, I forgot that she was tied up. And then she'll just run from them and kind of withhold her milk. But we want her to feed them the rest of that milk that she's been saving up all night so that she fully drains and then her udder can, you know, start producing for the rest of the day. So uh, this is our new way <laughs> we do that. Okay. Oh, goodness. oh my goodness. Stop it. Come on. Oh. Do you remember the path <laughs> to come? <laughs> Colleen remembers. Do you guys remember? You gotta come all the way straight here. You gotta come in here. Can you do it? Can you figure it out? Oh, I don't know if they can figure it out. They just gotta notice she's up there. Okay. Huh, a little better. <laughs> oh man, they're so rough on her udder. I know, it's not fun. There's a bunch left in there. I left more than I did yesterday. They just get really impatient if it doesn't like flow fast enough. All right, gotta make fern feed her babies in the morning. We just sputted the baby goats, so these little marks on their heads are the little burn marks where we burned off their buds. If you want to see an old video of how we actually disbud a baby goat, you can go watch one of our old videos on it. We do it to prevent them from hurting each other when they get older or getting caught in a fence. When you domesticate goats and your goats have horns, you run into a few problems. It can be done, but we choose to go ahead and take them off. All right. Okay. Let's let you out. Watch out. Nope. There you go. Come on, baby. Go back down with your babies. Come on. Come follow mama. There you go. <laughs> Good job. Will they go in? Nope. <laughs> They're not going to go in. They want to play out here. We still have a little while before we let the baby goats out with the herd. We got to make sure that they are getting enough from Fern and being protected from Fern. So back in the goat pen it is. <laughs> Come on. 
Carlisle and Esme are still here. They are. They're drinking out of our water thing. They love water. Yeah. They would love it if we put them in the pond. Oh. <laughs> but that's never going to happen. Although they would probably eat all those mosquito fish for us. <laughs> they probably would. The plan is to leave them in here for a few days so they get really acclimated to our farm. All the animals and the sound of the train spooks them really bad right now. So about a week, they're used to the sight of the pigs. They're not scared by the train. They'll be good. Two little half sisters here eating the leftovers from breakfast. Feeder looks like it's the right height. It's perfect. So you guys that don't know, these are both Moon Rider's daughters. This is Willow's and this is Tilly's. So it'll be fun to see how they turn out and how they're same as their mom or different from their moms. So it's a race to see how they develop and how they turn out when they get older. Always by the bucks, huh Luna? I don't have anything for you, just a pet. You like those geese, huh? They're gonna be your buddies. You guys don't remember, Luna loves geese and ducks and anything that she can rub on and be friends with. So we'll see if she develops a friendship with Carlisle and Esme. Right now they're kind of afraid of her. So we'll have to just wait and see. Hi Winston. How you doing today? <laughs> I feel like I can't call him Mr. Winston until he's full grown. He's still pretty little. Zorro's our calm buck. He's very sweet. You don't hear much from him, but He's gonna be a good good little buck for us. That's why you like having Ron back, because you can give him <laughs> He's way better at tummy scratches. He's way sweeter. Yeah. Alright, I filled it with concrete. What do you think? Is that duct tape lining the edges? Oh yeah, that's duct tape to uh, uh Make sure it didn't flow over the edges, but... You need duct tape for it to be a real Kevin scrap. Yes. So, you think it'll work? I think so. I couldn't imagine them flipping that over. All right, let's try it. Oh, heavy. All right, they're very anxious to see how it works. No, I don't have any food. Some for you, some for you. No fighting. Be nice. It works. It works. It doesn't move at all. It doesn't move at all when she's eating from it. Eat that nice. Look at Ron's hairdo. Looks really good. He's, uh, he's got a bed head. So, is it a craft or crap in the corner? Um, I'd say it worked. All right. You could eat a little quieter, Ron. Just a little bit. Seems like forever Since we've been together Oh God, I miss you back I don't think I've had more fails in the kitchen than when I've made pizza. But today I'm gonna give it a shot again because I really wanna see if I can perfect my existing skills. The dough is pretty simple to make. I've just got flour, water, salt, and yeast. And after it's risen, I'm gonna make sure and weigh out little sections of the dough. It's about 170 grams for a 12 inch personal pizza. So that's what I'm gonna try today. I think the first step is getting them the right size. There's one thing I do know about pizza and that is if you want it nice and thick with lots of air bubbles in it, you don't roll it out. You just use your fingers to lightly press out or stretch out into the desired size. But today we're gonna go thin crust. So that means we're gonna roll it out, smush all those bubbles that have been formed because we're not really caring about the height 
that this dough gets to. Now, as I start putting on the toppings, I'm thinking to myself, there's no way I'm gonna get this off the counter because normally what I do is put it on a piece of parchment paper and then I'll slide that parchment paper in the oven, but I'm gonna go full pizzeria tonight and we're gonna see if this actually works. We've got the cheese, the pepperoni, the green peppers, and now the moment of truth has arrived. I'm laughing because it didn't really work, guys. <laughs> I'm thinking I need to have the pizza paddle covered in flour as well for it to be able to scoop up on this. It was kind of hard to get on the paddle and kind of hard to get onto the stone in the oven. But Kevin helped me out because he's amazing. But the good thing is it was really easy to scoop up after it was cooked. And there we have it. I'll cover the whole thing with some fresh basil and that's it. So I'll put the link to my pizza dough recipe in the description below and let me know if you have any other tips and tricks that you like to use. All right guys, it's time to give the second clue on which breed of puppy we're gonna get. Mm -hmm. Your second clue is? It's really, it's big. really big. It's a huge dog. Like 100 pounds. Dora's like 20 pounds. So there's your clue. Go do some research. Keep a guessing. <laughs> Thanks for watching today's video, guys. If you want to go back and see how Luna was really good friends with ducks, click right here.